not doing anything. Even when we put the, uh, even when we put him in the box to uh to come out there and blitz, he's missing the tackle. Like his ta- he's already bad at missed tackles. Now he's getting worse at missed tackles. Like he was already bad at something. Now he's even now he's even worse at it. Like like he was bad at something. Now he's worse at it. He's he's worse in coverage. Like something he was good at. Uh, and then the things he was good at, he like he's not even good at anymore. He was good in coverage last year. He's not good in coverage. He was a ball hawking safety last year. He would locate the ball because, like I said, he had five in, he had five interceptions last year, and actually should have had at least three or four more that he ended up dropping or just no miss time. He ain't nowhere near the football this year. So uh, that tells me that you're near the football when you get five interceptions and then you got another three or four, possibly another five more that you didn't drop or, you know, you missed time or whatever, which means you're in the vicinity for the ball. You're a ball hawking safety. He ain't doing none of that. He ain't doing none of that. None of that. Not nothing. That He's nowhere near that situation. He's nowhere near that situation, bro. Like, like you know what this is? He's, he's not he's not he's not that making he's not that making any play, he's not that making any plays on the football. He's not doing anything, bro. He's, he's not. He's like, he's not. We can, oh yeah, you right. You might be right. It could it could be a it could be a sophomore slump. You might be right about that. It could it could be a sophomore slump. But my thing is this is that he needs to be better because we had expectation of him being an all pro safety this year. And he's not an all pro safety. He's not playing like all pro safety. He's actually, as of right now, he's a liability on defense. He's a liability on defense right now. Like, as it stands right now, he's a liability on defense. He is. He's, he's a liability on defense. He's had the – him and Damian Pierce both have had the biggest regression this season from last year. They've had the – both of them have had the biggest regression this year. Both of them. But I put more onus on Petrie's regression than Damian Pierce. Because I know what Damian Pierce's problem is. I know, I know, I know exactly what that is. Like I said, Damian, Damian Pierce's problem is that uh, um, Damian Pierce's problem is that he doesn't fit this run scheme. Because when was it the Pittsburgh game? When you ran when you ran power, he looked like how Damian Pierce looked. He looked like how Damian Pierce ran. He uh, he doesn't look the same because he doesn't he didn't he, uh, his like his vision with these cutback lanes either he see him too slow or he doesn't see him at all or he's hitting the hole too slow whatever he uh, that's his, that's his problem and that's his issue when it comes back with the, with those cutback lanes but when it comes to uh, uh when it comes to Damian Pe- when it comes to uh, Jalen Petrie Petrie is just not playing well he's not playing well at all and he's giving up a lot of big plays. That's what's that's what's going on right now with Jalen Petrie, and then you have somebody on the opposite side who was was drafted, who was drafted ahead of him. Obviously, he was drafted in the first round, was our first pick last year, and Derrick Singley coming out here for the last four games, last three games, playing incredible football, and three straight grand, three straight games, an interception, had two in the day, had four in the last three games, just. Great.